<sighs> I'm solo once again. I'm missing Ken Ken, but the journey must go on. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Val, and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. On this channel, I share my adventures as I humanly solo travel part-time with my dog in my trusty four-wheel drive truck which I've lovingly named after my grandfather, Ed Senior. But that's not all. I also tow along my cozy camper, officially known as the Cindelia, in honor of my three grandmothers. So join me as I hit the road and explore new places and make memories in the great outdoors. Let's embark on this journey together. And now without further ado, let's buckle up and truck along into today's adventure. All right, so you guys get to share a day in the life of Val on the road. I am getting ready to um, get some chores done today. Don't know how much of um, filming I'm gonna do, but I'm not even gonna pull the um, put the bed up. I'm just gonna leave it down um, because I have a seating area right here, um, which you guys can't see, is in the dining area. And I'm just gonna um, spruce up the bed full of blankets and closed curtains to the cave and when I say closed curtains to the cave this is what I mean right here closed curtains to the cave closed curtains to the cave voila um that doesn't justify for cleaning it I will wait home wait until I get home to home base to actually do the laundry for the linens but I'm going to do my regular laundry why because this campground has free laundry what man not only do they have full hookup for like 30 some dollars a night but yeah this is great it's awesome so i gotta take out the trash um the dishes are done however i'm probably getting ready to create more dishes because i'm getting ready to um cook me some breakfast what that breakfast is i don't know i think i think i'm just gonna do my regular two eggs and and a meat Mm, probably gonna be baking because I don't want that bacon to go bad um but yeah and I gotta walk the, I gotta feed the dog and I walk the dog <sighs> yeah day in a life but I like rainy days because rainy days keeps me inside the cindelia and keeps keeps me focused on the things that I need to do so there's nothing to do but get to it I'm going to change and because you guys don't need to see me in my little crop top hot shorts all video long. Anyway. Those of you who are wondering, TK gets salmon, rice and peas, Rachel Ray kibble, mixed with beneficial medleys. This is the way he likes his food, and this is the way we fix it for him. Okay, now that I got TK out of the way, because he is just like a child, however, he makes sure that he stays on guard all night long. So I take care of him first and then I start taking care of myself. When 
cleaning my face, I always try to use some type of detoxifying cleanser to remove toxins or anything from my face to um, combat acne or anything that um, can irritate my skin. Especially while camping. I love my 3D handmade tumbler. If it's not real butter, don't you fry me no eggs. Hi again. So, um, oh, also including in my day, I have to do some video editing. It seems as though um, I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, which means I think I'm gonna be in this thing for the long haul. I, I really think it's time now for me to um, focus and concentrate a little bit more on my content um, try to edit a little bit better um, as well as try to come out of my shell I'm an introvert and um, not just claiming it it's a medical diagnosis but I am trying to come out of my shell a little bit more and I just want to make sure that I give you guys what you want. So since I have 800 plus subscribers, you guys are making me realize that you like me. You like me. Even if it's just a little bit, you like me. And I like you guys too. I really do. I'm going to continue to try to make good content, travel more. But there's a lot of little places in and around my home area within a I'm gonna say a two and a half to three hour radius that I would like to explore for you guys and put it in contents because a lot of times you guys don't think about some of these small towns you don't think about some of these rural areas but I don't like to put your thinking cap on anyway it's time for me to eat my eggs and um, my bacon Another thing, I got, I got to tell you guys about this. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether I go um, vegan, uh, vegetarian, it's something about bacon. Bacon is the crack of food. You can't smell bacon. If you've had it before you grew up on bacon, you cannot smell bacon and not want to have some. There ain't no way. Mm -mm. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because I got to eat. Mm. Yep, 
that's good right there so here's the finger just sitting here looking at the past month of my videos and um on my phone they look great i have the iphone 12 but they look great on the phone but when i put them on the screen like such as my um ipad the color and the vibrance is not coming out i'm gonna see when i get home or you know what i can watch i'm gonna watch them on the tv in here because it's hd just to see if it's a difference but um I would like for you guys to see what I see. I really don't want to deal with going off and buying other equipment. If I have to upgrade my phone, I will upgrade my phone. But right now, um, I need to find out if that's the issue. Because, I, like I said, I, I don't want to deal with having this piece of equipment, this piece of equipment, this piece of equipment, this piece. Now, it will be worth it. If I got up into the teens of thousands of subscribers, of course it would be. But right now, I, I kind of want to lay low with my prices and everything because I'm not sponsored. Um, I, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of the horror stories about that. But if I did become sponsored by anybody it would have to be at a men um to still keep the integrity of myself because i don't want to be living for the sponsors right now i guess i make my living by being retired military and a disabled veteran when i say camping has been a peaceful thing for me and it's given me a lot of um, stress-free worries I mean it's like I don't worry as much when I'm out here on the road only thing I worry about is my safety for me and my dog and if someone's camping with me to make sure they're good but I got to go I got things to do laundry to do trash to take out dog to take out I'll see you guys on the flip side. And I don't need my doctor to see this because she wants me to sip coffee. Um, over a couple hour period. It's so good though. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta go. Oh yeah, I know I said I had to go, but there is one other feature that is really worth mentioning here on this post. Um, no, two other features. One right now is not working, and that is the cable to all the local channels, and I mean even like down to like Disney and stuff like that. But the main feature is free Wi-Fi, like no passwords, nothing like that. Like you just gotta be within range of this campground this camping area and not saying that people should come out here and you know well if you got access to this base you belong here um but however for the people that's camping here that have really bad signals elsewhere like this is this is awesome like i was able to hook the ipad the tv my phone if i wanted to but you know i'm i'm on 5g i'm i'm just gonna roll with my 5 you or whatever but my granddaughter well well she has her own service so but anyway you get the point my second phone yeah I, I'm just I'm elated by the amenities will I come here again will this I thought that all Benny um, was gonna be my favorite military post out of all of them um, hands down all, all the ones I've traveled to in the last 30 days because my all-time favorite military post does not have full hookup. But it does have electrical, does have water, and I can build a campfire. Here you can't build a campfire. That's the only downside about here at Mayport. 
um, you can't build a campfire. And I get it, the winds are high, especially coming off of the St. John's River and the ocean back there. Like, I get that part, like, because the ocean is just a throw up. Uh, I'm not gonna say a stone throw away because I can't throw that far. But it's really, really a short distance. It's right around the bend because the St. John's River is right out here. And, um, you know, for security reasons, we can't, we can't film. So we don't need to let everyone knows where everything's situated and, and, and what types of equipment we have, even though they know pretty much. However, we don't need to give it to them. If you're going to find it, you're going to seek it. You're not, you're not getting it from us because um, most retirees, I don't care if we're old and broken. Oh, baby, we ready. <laughs> we are ready to rook up and boot up uh, once again at any given time. Anyway, let's get back to the softer nature side of things. Now, um, it does have a track right outside of my window here. Let's see if I can get you guys up there. Uh, I have a walking track if I want to go walking. Um, but those those these amenities are awesome. You, you're talking about free cable, free Wi-Fi, free laundry. You got your full hookup at right on site for 30 something dollars a night. Baby, I'm here. I'm here all day long. Yes, yes. And not to mention Hannah, Catherine Abbey Hannah Park is right down the road. As soon as you got the gate, the next light, you know, you make a left, it's right there. Now, what I discovered yesterday is I don't think I want to stay there. As many videos I've saw online, that's great, that's fine and dandy. They can build campfires over there. <sighs> that's the only thing that I would want to have over there. However, not going over there. Now when I can be right here, it's secure. Let's say that again. Secure. This is the safest base that I've ever been on or felt safe. When I say felt safe, felt safe, felt safe to the point to where, not intentionally, but left my door unlocked, um, left the keys in the door, um, left the keys outside on the rear garage door for the um, for the camper. Like, I'm like, get it together, Val. Like, seriously, you just leaving keys everywhere? So, yeah. Um, but, and that wasn't intentionally. It was just that I let my guards down. Because I felt safe. I, the, the atmosphere, the people. Um, there's, I mean, there's weirdos everywhere you go. Um, but I may look like a weirdo to some people. Because, you know, just saying. Um, but, however, I felt safe. I didn't feel intimidated. Um, my dog, on the other hand, he really likes eating body, but you know, dogs know. And then he was trying to get at other dogs too, because you know, poor thing, I won't let him have a girlfriend. Mm -mm. Anyway, um, I'm going to get ready to go do my live because I'm talking too much, y'all. I'm talking too much. See, I got stuff to do while it's barely raining outside. I need to make it to the laundry. Later. Okay, I just put the laundry in the wash. I couldn't film because there was another Patreon of the park in here. However, I'm gonna go take TK back to the camper and I'm gonna go on a little walk. And I may just go film inside the um, inside the wreck area. But first, let me get him settled.
Okay, so I am in the um, recreation area where you come to check in, and they have a nice screened in area. And I'm gonna flip you guys around without moving the phone. But they, that's the entrance to the thing. But they have a nice screened in area. And I hope that justified, but without infringing on someone's privacy. But this is beautiful. Like it's nice and breezy out here. They also have books inside that you can um, actually partake in reading. And I just grabbed one just to thumb through real quick. And yeah, just because who doesn't like reading? Nah, I love reading. I love reading things that interest me. Psychology is one of them. And sometimes um, it depends on how things work, depending on the subject. So one of the first things, I picked this book and I just, like I said, I was just stumbling through. One of the first things I just saw that says, be generous to yourself. Now those that know, no. Do I practice this? Practice this? No, I don't. However, um, this hit home. Be generous to yourself. And the reason why I'm camping is because I'm trying to be generous to myself and relieve all my stress and relieve all my worries. Yes, it's a temporary fix because I have to go back to home base. And when I'm at home base, I'm busy cleaning. I'm busy doing something. I'm busy going to appointments. Um, however, we have to keep in mind that um, we have to take time for ourselves. So, and taking time for yourself, be generous to yourself. I was going to show you guys where the laundry was, but because I cannot film in that direction, it is very difficult. This is due to the cargo and shipments that are coming in. All right, so as you can tell, I made it to the laundry. Um, I had this washer and the washer down here on the end. And neither one of them, well, this one was finished. But the other one wasn't finished at the time. However, um, I was going to try to wait so I can combine everything into one dryer. But um, there was no need for that. So, I needed some dryer sheets too, but... Uh, it was out of order. So I got a book from the um, recreation center and I'm going to give another book back so I can keep that one and finish read it. So this is the recreation center and this is how it looks inside. So I'm back to retrieve my other load of laundry and put it in the dryer. That one washer took about an hour and 45 minutes, but however, it was free. I only had time on my hands because it was a rainy day and I didn't want to be out in the muck. So we're camping for real now. Um, I have solar on my camper. However, there is just a, a loud boom and now there's no electrical coming through um, any of the um, ports or anything. So I'm gonna save this battery. When the power comes back on, I'll charge my phone and I'll continue to record. Until then, The power did come back on, but um, I'm getting ready to go ahead and do a few little upgrades in the bathroom for some towel storage and um, just a little bar just to hang some stuff. So I'm just going to pre-drill some holes um, so that the little hooks that I'm um, screwing in is easier to go into the wall.
because these walls are so flimsy, before screwing the hooks, I always put Gorilla Glue or some type of strong adhesive on there because I feel that it makes it more secure. This little hanging thing I found at Dollar Tree, and it, it was fit perfect right here under the medicine cabinet. What I'm gonna hang on there, I don't know. Probably my hand towel. So now I have a place to hang my towels, and I have a place to hang, I guess, whatever. I won't put the two brushes down here or anything like that. Why? Because it is a toilet. So um, we're gonna keep them in the medicine cabinet, so, yeah. But I just thought that it would be a neat idea to put something here that would be useful because this, this RV is small and I need any way possible that I can to make use of certain spaces, so. That's it for today's projects. And the only thing I have to do now is go get my laundry, um, walk TK layer on, and it will be a wrap. So, unsure if I'll film all that, but basically that's a day in a life. Oh yeah, I gotta eat too. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat out. They have a Panda Express here. I did take out those scallops that I mentioned um, in a previous segment, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Rainy days will have you so relaxed to where you just want to lay down and just chill. I was going to take a nap, but then I changed my mind. But man, it just seems like just like yesterday that I was sitting on my desk and I was saying, you know what? I wish I could just go home and take a nap. But when you belong to the military, you can't just get up and leave. But chilling and relaxing. I never thought about doing this in a camper. In a million years, I wouldn't have never saw myself doing this. So guess who decided to show up? The sun. It was such a beautiful evening. I had to go outside and enjoy this evening of breezy, beautiful weather and just enjoy looking at the river. It's been a good, productive day. Thank you guys for watching today on Life Without Washi Camps. 